Hello, this is the Good Day Channel. In this video, we'll show you 50 people who had some seriously bad luck with their food. Let's go. 1. Taste the rainbow is the catchy slogan of the candy, which many of us loved very much when we were little and some still do. The author of this photo has to make do with just one color of the rainbow though, yellow. 2. Choosing a watermelon is a very delicate matter because there's a high probability that it won't be sweet enough. But what if you were afraid of the wrong thing? And the problem ends up being a very unexpected one. For example, your watermelon's rind can be twice the size of its flesh. 3. Choosing an avocado is even more difficult than choosing a watermelon. If it's your first time trying it and you get an unripe fruit, it can ruin the experience for you. You're unlikely to be able to taste anything other than its seed. 4. It's difficult to cook your eggs sunny side up when you don't have the main part, the yolk, which is the sun. It sounds ridiculous, but this lucky person got such an egg. I'd really like to see the hen that laid it. 5. Dedicated to the lovers of salty treats. The manufacturers apparently decided to get creative with their products and offer their customers salt with peanuts instead of peanuts with salt. Or maybe it's a marketing ploy to get people to buy more water. 6. When you decided to try yourself in gardening for the first time, these carrots are only good for children whom their parents forced to eat healthy food while they only want to eat candy. 7. Is it possible that the authors of this photo and the previous one are the same person? Not the best harvest, although there's a chance to get into the Guinness Book of World Records as an expert in growing the smallest fruits, vegetables, and berries in the world. 8. The package claims that the waffles are filled with berry but there weren't that many berries there, just one to be precise. Next time, there probably won't be any berries at all. 9. According to the picture's author, this lemon looked very good. The situation confirms the old saying that looks can be deceiving. We've already shown you a similar situation today with a watermelon. 10. What should a burger chef do when there's very little cheese left and a bunch of cheeseburgers still to be made? It seems that one resourceful chef from Manila has found a way out of this predicament. It's highly unlikely that the customers appreciated this creative approach. 11. We've all been in this situation at least once when the filling turned out to be much less than expected. We can only look at such photos with compassion, remembering similar situations from our lives. 12. Many people believe that the most delicious part of the ice cream cone is the waffle. Imagine the disappointment of this man who didn't get the waffle part in his ice cream. 13. The author of this photo talked about how he bought a pack of his favorite soda. All the jars were sealed, but one of them was filled with air only. It's a good thing that this guy had a scale at home so that he could share his lucky purchase with us. 14. There are two things that children love equally, ice cream and SpongeBob. But your child might not be happy if you get them this ice cream in the shape of a mutant SpongeBob. Its main difference from the original is that it only has one eye. 15. If you'd like more cream, those are the words to describe this cake, and it's not because of a great love for chocolate, but because of its complete absence, although the image on the box promised the opposite. 16. It often happens that being extremely tired, you accidentally do strange things at work. That's probably what happened to the person that put potatoes in this bag and accidentally put a stone in it as well, which, by the way, looks a lot like a potato. 17. This fan probably expected to get more pizza when he bought it in this huge box to eat while watching his favorite team play. We hope he doesn't miss out on any important moments of the game when he has to go out to get more food. 18. Some may say that this guy is lucky, but don't forget that not everyone likes egg yolks. Although, if he does, he probably appreciated the surprise. 19. Dedicated to the true fans of poppy seed rolls. Although it can hardly be called a roll, but rather poppy seeds in a thin dough shell. But what's more important is that it actually didn't taste bad, as this kind of sugar explosion is not for everyone. 20. Some people complain about getting too little chocolate in their filling. But this is a slightly different situation. This chocolate bar turned out to be 100% chocolate because someone forgot to add the waffle to it, which is what we love Kit Kat bars for. 21. Is there anyone who doesn't love these wonderful gummy bears? 
Children are especially fond of these sweets, but not every child would be happy to see this monster instead of the coveted bear cub. Adults, on the other hand, would be glad about getting more marmalade. 22. My bread was cut the wrong way, said the customer. But as they say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. This bread is perfect for making long sandwiches, which can fit a lot of filling. 23. The author of this photo was most likely won over by the weight of the package, as chips are usually virtually weightless. But it was a massive block with the cheesy smell that accounted for the weight of the pack. I wonder what the reaction was of the person who bought it. 24. Many of us were forced to eat broccoli when we were little, which was explained by the fact that it's a healthy vegetable that contains many vitamins. In this case, children will be glad to see that they won't be eating broccoli for dinner because there simply weren't any in the package. 25. The person who bought this chocolate bar is another marketing victim. This is a very sneaky thing to do, and it's unlikely that anyone would make this purchase twice. There are way too many cranberries in here. 26. Try seeing a panda here. We can only hope that this ice cream tastes better than it looks. 27. Once again, someone fell for the suspiciously heavy bag of chips. The author of the picture was even more fortunate. He found a whole potato inside. Something definitely went wrong in the production process. 28. We've already talked about the record-holding gardener today. It seems that we found his rival, who could, who could compete with him for a place in the Guinness Book of Records, although these lemons would be perfect for tea. 29. The amount of chocolate chips in this ice cream is astounding. Chocolate and ice cream are the two main characters of our video today. You'll get to hear about them more than once again. 30. This new kind of onion looks a lot like potatoes. The manufacturer probably ran out of the appropriate packaging and just had to do with what he had, although we might be dealing with yet another overtired worker who just got confused at work. 31. What would we do without those who debunk the myths that manufacturers make up? Someone wasn't too lazy to compare the actual amount of raisins in a package of cereals with the amount stated in the ad. 32. Avocado is a very insidious fruit. Don't be fooled by its tempting large size when you go shopping or you'll end up in a situation like this chef. Apparently, this is not the rarest problem for avocado, as we have already found two of those. 33. Asian marketing is ruthless. It's obvious that here the manufacturer deliberately cut out some of the shrimp. Does that amount really matter that much in a large-scale production? But the customer is clearly unhappy. 34. Hopefully the customer was not a true patriot of the United States, otherwise they would be disappointed by a product with an American flag that claims to be manufactured by an American company is made in Canada. 35. How cunning and careful does one need to be to come up with this kind of a thing? Arranging the fish in a way that the naive customer wouldn't even suspect anything. After a series of such photos, one might get the desire to open each package at the store so as not to be deceived. 36. Sometimes disappointment awaits us not only on supermarket shelves, but even in catering establishments. I'd like to believe that the chef who prepared this dish put all their efforts into making it taste good, forgetting about the way it should look. 37. Here's something for those who don't know it yet. The only difference between small and medium fries in many fast food restaurants is the size of the box. But the amount of fries is exactly the same. This is what the author of the photo showed us. 38. Seemingly transparent packaging feels like a certain guarantee of trust, but it's not. Sometimes the product may look completely different under the covered part of the packaging. This pepperoni pizza is a great example of this. 39. The choice of muesli on store shelves is simply amazing. But the insides of the box aren't always as diverse as their pictures. We can even say that they're completely different. Half a nut per serving? Seems like a joke. 40. Whoever designed the label for this drink obviously didn't think it through. They tried luring the customer in with the promise of 100% juice, but at the same time, indicating that in fact there's only 27% natural juice, just a few centimeters lower. 41. If you're a big fan of chocolate and chocolate-filled products, then we won't advise you to buy these buns. Just compare the tempting picture on the packaging with the harsh reality. 42. 
Even the market giants like McDonald's make mistakes sometimes. Their ice pop ice cream is one example of this. It didn't work well in hot places, which was the reason why they removed this position from their menu. 43. Another SpongeBob ice cream. If the previous one had at least some resemblance to the cartoon character, this time it's difficult to even describe what happened to everyone's beloved Sponge. Now he looks more like a character from a horror movie than a cartoon. 44. A marketing move that we're already familiar with. It isn't really clear how such products can benefit the company. We hope that this is just an isolated incident that was obviously disappointing for the author. 45. What do you see in the picture on the right? There actually should be a picture of Scooby-Doo, but it reminds me more of an owl. What about you? Ice cream in the shape of cartoon characters doesn't seem like such a great idea, given what we've seen today. 46. Remember the picture of the cut shrimp? It seems that whoever made this roll might have been inspired by it. We have no other explanation, but it's very convenient if you want to share with a friend. 47. This pizza looks more like the school cafeteria pizza that we all used to love back when we were children, but it looks nothing like its picture on the package. I hope it tastes as good as that pizza from our childhoods. 48. If you're one of those people who love ice cream in a waffle cup because of the cup, then this ice cream is for you. We hope that the author of the photo was also one of those people, otherwise they must have been very upset. 49. This example proves that homemade pancakes are the most delicious ones. You can put as much filling as you'd like, and you certainly won't find yourself in the position this person did when they ordered these pancakes for lunch. 50. This soup was supposed to have mushrooms and shrimp in it, but it seems to be missing everything but the onions. It's surprising that the water even changed color. 51. I wonder what it was that got the chef so distracted that they overcooked this chicken so much. The difference is just too obvious. It's weird that they even tried serving this dish instead of just making a new one. 52. A pizza with four different toppings is a great idea, especially when you want to share food with friends. But you all like different things. But this pizza isn't anything like the one on the menu. It feels like they forgot to cook everything except the crust. 53. Imagine buying ice cream and opening it, only to find another cover inside. It's hard to imagine how it could have happened that the ice cream was packed, then placed in a cone, and then packed again. And that's it for now. Share your thoughts in the comments. What did you find the most delicious? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see even more interesting things.